His fingers moved closer and closer. <laughs> closer and closer to an area that is so private, so off limits. <sighs> I got this gut-wrenching, nauseous feeling that five years later has yet to go away. Since the assault, I can't sleep, I don't trust, and I have a difficult time making friends. I even blame my parents for something they had absolutely no control over. To this day, Kaylee can't shut her eyes at night without seeing that monster's face, and she calls me sobbing sometimes uncontrollably. She has nightmares of his assaults, and I often cry myself to sleep, knowing that you could have stopped him. MSU continually denies the past, is on the road to denying the present, and in doing so is denying me and others of our future and our ability to heal. He has admitted guilt. We are no longer accusers. We are victims, and we are survivors of this abuse at Michigan State University. More than 140 women and girls say they are victims of Larry Nasser. Their claims date back to the early 1990s, and yet only one MSU employee, the school's former gymnastics coach, has been disciplined in the 15 months since this scandal broke. She was suspended, then the next day decided she should retire. Wow, it is 